Good morning dear friends God bless you this morning and I greet you in the name of Jesus Let today's meditation truly bless you encourage you strengthen your faith and uh, may the Lord's blessing be upon you and the anointing of the Holy Spirit to listen and understand Today's meditation is from Luke chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 We don't take a time to read it because <clears throat> it is a lengthy passage. Nevertheless, I would say this, please, after soon after this meditation, you listen and then make sure you read this passage and then go through what you heard. Now, the meditation is titled Things Men Should Fear. Now, many thousands of people were following Jesus Christ. and he addressed two groups of people among the crowd there must have been many kind of groups many kind of people some followed always to find faults the religious leaders and some really wanting to seek the truth and some really genuinely wholeheartedly uh, wanted to follow him and uh, and he addressed to two group of people the message number 1 was to his disciples verses 1 to 3 and uh, the substance of this message was no matter how much we may try to hide our secret secrecy our secrets every deed will be exposed and every word also will be exposed and um, everything will be revealed and so the end of that message really is this fear hypocrisy fear hypocrisy why but this was the message to his disciples Jesus the Messiah was always in conflict with the Pharisees and the religious leaders and the reason was they were always uh, uh, Jesus was always uh, 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 getting after the hypocrisy of this group of people among the Israelites he just simply could not stand hypocrisy my friends always remember what jesus hates we must hate and that is a part of being spiritual now this is one of the dreaded sins hypocrisy god fearing people fear this sin as jesus himself hated the hypocrisy of religious people of his time and the message number 2 was to his friends among the crowd were also so many other friends and uh, to them he gave this message do not fear men but fear god and god alone when you read the passage this is what you will verses 4 and 5 men are not our final judge but god is the judge judge who shall judge and whose judgment will either send us to heaven to eternal life or send us to hell to eternal damnation that all depends upon his judgment and his judgment will be righteous and just no one can question him and he will never be at fault the second thing is do not fear lack of necessities of life because god cares for you he cares for the sparrow and he cares for the widows and fatherless he cares for the helpless 
and uh, the defenseless. He cares for all these groups of people. The widows and the fatherless especially. My friends, that's why James said in his epistle, true religion is this, that you care and help the widows and the fatherless. Because if we are unjust to this group of people, God will hear their cry and he shall send his judgment on those who troubles them. And then, uh, this is, you will find um, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, um, uh, verses 6 and 7. Also you can read 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. Because he cares, the Bible also says in Peter, cast all your burdens on him because he cares for you. This is what you read in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. And thirdly, fear the spirit of disloyalty to Christ. And the spirit of denying Christ. Verses 8 and 9. There are three G's we need to be fearful of and careful about. Three G's. This is something that one of my Bible college professors taught us. Beware of three G's. What are these three G's that uh, pull servants of God down or people of God down? Glory. Glory is what? Desire to be famous. And gain a big name and give uh, 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 big fame. Number two, gold. A greed for money for riches, to become rich. And some people take up the ministry as a means of gain. Apostle Paul mentioned it. And the third G is girls. Carnality that leads to uh, adultery. Immorality. So I also say to all of you who are listening, beware of three G's in your Christian life. And these are the power that pulls you down and keeps you down. Never give yourself to these, any one of these things. There are many people who have more than one of these. And they make a shipwreck of their faith and their spirituality. The Bible says, Apostle Paul says. So beware of this. A fear. The spirit of disloyalty to Christ. And the spirit of denying Christ. Many deny Christ and leave Christ. Because of one of these things. And any one of these. Can pull you down. And. Uh, great men of God who were mightily used of God fell under the weight of either one of these or two of these or all three. How many cases are there? Let it not happen to any one of you. If some pastors are listening, evangelists are listening, any worker of God, the gospel is listening, please keep yourself safe from all these three things that will pull you down otherwise. It is not God's will for you. And then fourthly, fear the unpardonable sin. Verse 10. Jesus said, everyone who uh, speaks a word against the Son of God will be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit shall not, we will not be forgiven. Blasphemy. What is it? It is attributing the work of the Holy Spirit to the devil. That was the unpardonable sin that Pharisees used to commit. He cast out demons and they attributed that work to the demon rather than the Holy Spirit. As you know, Jesus Christ did everything he did by the power 
and guidance of the holy spirit and lastly do not fear persecutions and trials the holy spirit empowers you he is the comforter he is the counselor he is the one who stands by you in any and every situation not only in good times but also in the worst of time he will never leave you his presence is an ever present help in trouble my friends so do not be scared do not be afraid of persecution they may come they are they are promised to by god and so don't be afraid because he will never leave you he said you will have troubles and tribulations but do not be afraid i have overcome the world he will be with you god bless you and live today for him be courageous and let god be pleased with your life amen this is a good day don't spoil it enjoy this day life this is the day the lord has made rejoice amen father bless those who have listened to this message and speak to them and let them be encouraged blessed and strengthened and determined in their decision to follow Christ till the end thank you in Jesus name amen god bless you